I mean, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is why I want you to go right now. Can you stop the music? I want you to go right now to glenbeck.com, and I want you to go to step number two, activate. And I want you to find out if you're registered. You've heard me tell, talk to you about this before. 500,000 people have already done this in the audience. We have a footprint of 30 million people. I want you to go to glenbeck.com right now, and I want you to go to activate, and I want to see if you're registered. You type in your name, and you see if you're registered. And then I want you to go down your Rolodex. Pastors, preachers, rabbis, priests. I want you to go down the. I want you to go down the um, the roster of everybody that goes to your church, and I want you to find out who's registered and who's not. Mm-hmm. And you get registered because if we don't repeal this, I honestly don't know how to do business anymore. I'm a I'm a fairly successful businessman. I don't know how to do business. If the government can make you now illegal, remember one thing. I said to you about an hour ago, this court does not want to be remembered as the Dred Scott court. They've just done it. And it was because good people resisted. There were going to be one or, one or two, one of us was going to say, resist. One of us was going to use this and say, fight on. Here's the good news in this. I said, oh, oh boy, what? Is there more news? Chief Justice Roberts' vote saved Obamacare. That is the... uh, What the hell? What? Why can't we appoint justices on our side that actually do the things they're supposed to do? Why is it that Justice Ginsburg never votes for anything conservative? Ever. We never have it. Yet every freaking person we appoint on our side winds up doing this idiocy. How is that possible? It happens only to our side. You know why? Because progressivism is a disease in both parties. That's why. But come on, John I, that You've Robert never had a better case. You've never had a better case than today. Progressivism is a, it's a, it's a disease, and it is in both parties. It's in both parties. And if we don't wipe out the progressive idea, if we don't correct that in the minds, those people shoot people that disagree with them. I was talking to Monica Crowley um, yesterday. And Monica Crowley was telling me, she said, there's two bookstores in Long Island. She said, where I live, they won't sell my book or your book. I said, what are you talking about? She said, they won't even hold it. They will not carry a liberal book. I said, you want to talk about book burners? There it is. Progressives are fascists. They're fascists. Now, I don't know about Mitt Romney, but if Mitt Romney is not ready with a statement in about 15 freaking minutes... He's not, he's not the guy to be president of the United States. If he isn't prepared to come out today swinging for the fences, then he's not prepared to be the president of the United States. It's actually happened. One, two, three. Did they actually lose? They Gosh. got Kennedy and lost Roberts? Gosh, that's amazing. That is amazing. So you have, you have Scalia. You have Alito. You have Thomas. You have Kennedy. And you, you do have Kennedy. Ro- and you lose Roberts. I mean, that and is, Roberts went the other way. Wow. Uh, you know, unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. And you're right. It has never been. I don't. I don't think there's ever been a ruling where we said, "Whoa, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg oh, no. voted no. the other way." Never or because Stephen they Breyer? are who they are. Yeah, because absolutely. they are who they are. Yeah. And 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 progressives. I mean, how many of us? How many of us? When Newt Gingrich was on this show three, four months ago, was shocked at who he really was. How many of us? We didn't know this about Newt Gingrich. I mean, I always thought Newt Gingrich was a dirtbag, but I never thought he was. I never thought he was a progressive. You know, a big government guy, whatever. No contract with America. No. The guy turns out to be a guy. Turns out to be the guy who says, "Let's double the size of the State Department." Who, in your right mind, has ever said that? Who have you ever heard say double the size of the State Department? Everybody I respect. For generations have always said State Department's one of the biggest problems. You got a you got a clean house at the State Department. He wanted to double the size. His heroes are FDR, Woodrow Wilson, Theodore Roosevelt. Are you kidding me? And this guy knows history. This guy has been undercover forever. This guy is just he we didn't pay attention 
We didn't know what progressivism was, and it is time. The Gang, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I will tell you this. I am a better American today because of Barack Obama. Hear it loud, hear it clearly. I am a better American today because of Barack Obama. I know what my country has done, both good and bad. I have a deep appreciation for what this country is and what the American people are capable of. This is not a setback. This is a challenge. And believe me, the American people are up to the challenge. Just as we were with the Dred Scott decision, we are up to this challenge. I want you to go right now to glenbeck.com. If you have not done it, you do it. You go right to the front page and you look for the um, uh, one, two, three, four. You click on that. When you get to that page, you click on two. It says activate. You'll go to a page there and it'll say type in your name and address and it will tell you if you're registered to vote. 14% of this country is not registered to vote even though they think they are. 30% of conservatives are not registered to vote. 30% of conservatives, Christian conservatives, are the worst. Now, you either stand for something or you don't. Get your ass registered. Get everybody on your, on, on your, in your neighborhood. Get everybody you know registered to vote. I want you to go there now. Glenbeck.com. You might have thought of this before. You might have like, yeah, I got to do that. I want you to do it right now. You go to glenbeck.com and you get registered to vote. It is time to show this president and this progressive party on both sides enough. You want a freaking mandate? Oh, we'll give you a mandate. We're not going to make threats. We're going to make promises. We'll show you a mandate. I've had enough of the Orrin Hatches. I've had enough of the mealy mouth Republican bullcrap. I've had enough of it. Enough. This is your you're not going to be. Case. You're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to rid this in one vote. Uh, one decade, it took a hundred years to get here. I've told you before when I was on Fox, and I mean this with every with everything in me. I will fight these people till the day I die. I will do everything I can. I was I was with somebody who is a very wealthy man who has an extraordinary library last night, and we were talking, and he was showing me all of these amazing rare documents. And I said to him, I said, "Show me the stuff you have on Edward Bernays. Show me the stuff you have on Woodrow Wilson." Show me the stuff you have on FDR. He said, well, I don't like those guys. I said, what are you talking about? You don't like those guys. Neither do I. Woodrow Wilson is number five. He is the fifth most favorite president, the fifth most important president in the United States, and they glorify him in every university. I don't like him either. Princeton has the Woodrow Wilson Center. If we don't teach people what evil is, if we don't, If we don't restore history, we're done. We're done. I think I've convinced this guy to go back and look at his library and start to collect the evil side of of American history. Let me tell you something. This will make us a better, stronger America. This will ensure that the end of the Obama administration is here. This will turbo. And Mitt Romney, let me tell you something. If you turn out to be one of these mealy-mouthed, progressive pieces of crap, I'm telling you right now, you're in trouble, brother, because America is not going to sit down. We are tired of getting the same bull crap. We are tired of getting the same bull crap from both parties. You better be a damn conservative that understands small government. None of this bull Bailout bull crap, none of it. None of it. Last call, Republicans. Last frickin' call.